Hey, hi, hello. You're listening to the show. He said, she said. I was always here Tuesday at two. I have got. To, I just have to say a big thank you to my two hosts and co-hosts sitting here, Coach and Ellen. How amazing you guys are, and what great help you were for me over the weekend. I think we'll talk about that a little bit later. Wait, what did he do? He showed, I showed up. up. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll talk God, about it. if I didn't dig ditches and, like, build tall buildings... You'd she have would, no credit. No, I'd get no credit, no. No. Zero. Well, I was just curious as to what she was thanking you for. <laughs> for being himself. She happens to love me, okay? Well, well I love you daughter. too, but you didn't help. <laughs> Okay. You can see there's still messes to clean up, but we'll, we'll talk about that yeah, a little bit later. Yeah, why don't you There's a marriage and family home. counselor out there. What's our number? 289-1220. If you're a marriage and family counselor, please, I'm begging you, call him now. <laughs> Was it 28, what? What is 298-5487. Oh, 298-54. Oh, when, when you're dyslexic, oh, you just kind of read it. it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know there's a lot going on this weekend. I know uh, Real Life Church had an amazing event. That was a huge success. That f- Our fall festival at San Creole Elementary raced huge funds so we're going to kind of keep it i guess in the fall halloween spirit today spirit. Um, maybe we'll get some news and facts no one cares about and then, then, then we'll, we'll move then on we'll get, then we'll get the spirits well, i'm switching it up today on the show we call he said she said uh and uh, seriously if you're a marriage and family who said you could do that yeah oh. we didn't tell you, you we didn't have, say no, not ready not yet. a team player no justin okay. help please no Normally they have a little glass of wine or two before the show. Not they both come in without nothing. <laughs> this is we this do is not do that. You tease us all the oh, time. Sorry. We clean ha- we clean a house. We go to right. work. Come on. All right. Are you going to give us any news and facts? Yeah. Today? No. I, right. So I take every single day because you know I'm big in the media business, right? <laughs> oh. So I you're blogging ooh, your yeah, Facebooking. Big. That's my blogs are getting picked up. Wow. Well, guess what? If you don't have any news and facts, no, no I have stuff. About, no, I no, no, no. I have important stuff. So every. I Funnier. Every single day, I get stuff from the radio, TV, a magazine for people who are in uh, media like we are. So, <laughs> let me go through the list. See what you guys like. All okay. right. No, we're doing news and facts. This, this is just things this people is, talk about. I'm changing about. things up a no. little bit, girl. My God, you gotta woman. pass it, pass it on with us before you decide to do something. You spring stuff on me all the time. All right, the history of Hillary. No? Yes or no? No. no. Let's move on. The best haunted houses in America. Ooh, that one's kind of interesting, but we can bring that back. Let's in. talk ghost. Uh, bad spirits for your health. Let's stop me if you anything you want to talk about. Bizarre. Ripley's, believe it or not, always comes around this time of year. It does. Right? Okay. Celebrate Veterans Day. When is Veterans Day? Well, November 11th. The flags are going up on Bouquet Canyon already. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, but uh, you're not giving me a news and fact. We can yeah, talk about all I, that later. Do you later. want a news and fact? I do. Okay. When you give it to I'm going to give you a news and fact. Uh, why is shifting responsibility to someone else called passing the buck? Did you pay them to do it? No. Not a clue. Not a clue. Well, apparently in card games, it was once customary to pass an item called a buck from a player to a player to indicate whose turn it was. That's very interesting. And so the you know the player who wished not to assume the responsibility, it was called. He was going to pass the buck. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot better than your stuff, Snowman. <laughs> All right, what's up? Next? Okay, so apparently we're not going to do news and facts. Nobody cares yeah, about you, today. You better, you better bring it next week. I'll bring what, it. What were you I doing? I thought what yeah. I had was interesting. What's that's interesting not, about the, it? These are the things that the public's talking about every day. But that has no, nothing but that's not to do news with news every and facts. single day in America. People are Ron, talking. What news and facts? No one cares but about. But I like to change that, it up sometimes. No, not no, on that one. Not on our watch. Okay, I do have you one can thing. Do it time on out. Your... Time out. I do have one thing. I do have. Okay, here is. Uh, stay with me on this thing. All right, we're you trying. ready? We're, yeah, stay. we're doing our best what, here. Okay, I'm watching a. I'm watching something the other day. What does this mean when you say? And Justin, you can jump into because you're an athlete. Grub it to your hooker. <laughs> grub it to your grub it hooker. To your I don't hooker. think you were watching a sports event. Uh, are those words? Grub it? Is that a word? Grub think. it to your hooker. How do you spell that? I guarantee you he's not pronouncing grub it right. It to, G-R-U-B is grub. Uh-huh. Grub it to your hooker. In rugby, I was watching the World Championship Rugby That's on sad, ESPN. Isn't it? And in rugby, it means kick to the guy running next to you. Okay. 
Grub it. So they, they instead of saying uh, kick, they say grub it. And that, that's what that means. Grub it to your hooker. The hooker is the guy running right next to you on the field. Is he like? In rugby. Is he, is he wearing high up? heels? <laughs> <and> <laughs> like, <laughs> Come on, girls. This is, this is really good stuff here. I'm thinking six inches. <laughs> Ru- uh, we'll call Ru- it lipstick. Never mind. Let's get on to the show that we call He Said, She Said. Can I give a plug to my show that's starting Thursday? Later. Oh, okay. You can do that on your one for the road. Okay. Are you still yeah. doing that? Or that goal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got, well, Are you me, switching got that up, too? I've got a lot for one for the road today. I'll bet you so do. So I think we were we were going to talk, you know, last week we were saying how we were. I was having a huge Halloween party this weekend. Turned out larger than we even thought Best it was ever. going. It, it really was amazing. But we wanted to talk a little bit about just a few things about party etiquette, um, people's behavior. I mean, you people, put, how about people's costumes or, yeah, or we not? Had, I, we didn't do the total tally, but I want to say we were at about 60 people. Uh, 55, 60 people showed up. And we found it really different. Interesting. We had six people who RSVP'd good people, good friends we know, never showed up. Never that's called. That's rude. That's, yeah. Uh, to me, that's rude. I think rude. that's rude. No. And so, then they have dumb excuses, but that's rude. I, I'm going to say Well, when rude. you're a mom, I, so I did have two, uh, their kids got sick. <laughs> it's so convenient. <laughs> that, that's yeah. the easy one. Way oh, too convenient. My kid's throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty Oh, we normal. were almost in the car, and then my child decided and, to puke. Yeah. I got I had two of those, so yeah. that one was funny. And then what about, I had an RSVP from a woman, and then she calls me 30, literally 30 minutes. I'm already getting in my costume and says, can I bring four other people? And yeah. I don't and I don't know them. So what do and you do? And we barely knew her. Yeah, I barely knew her, but so what do you do when someone says You can't say no. Can, can you? you? That's what I want. I was not able to at this point. I was I was in party mode and I was already not stressed. Well, but and you're already thinking what the heck? Four more people. There, there was. I really wasn't thinking that. I was really. Items. I was really just taken off that. I just went. The nerve. Yeah, the nerve. I went. Okay, sure. And I actually, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to talk on the phone. I just sent a text. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that, I mean, that's no, that's rude too because you know you plan so much food. I mean, yeah, it's 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 rude. Not and that it's, there it's wasn't it's enough of everything. Etiquette. I don't think it had to do with etiquette. Yeah, I it's, just. Okay, so that one was interesting. What did you think, Coach? What was the most interesting thing at the party? Oh, my God. By far, I would say the twins, Lisa and her sister. <laughs> oh, the Lisa twins. Lisa. They were so made up. I mean, I have pictures of them. I'm showing everybody. I mean, they, they looked awesome. They looked awesome. I didn't Th- even have, recognize Lisa when she walked in. I wasn't sure. And I, I know they were heavily made up, but they were so pretty. And, and you know, they're. Uh, so that can, was can your I favorite use the word costume? Voluptuous? You may. You may. They're, they're yeah. voluptuous. That, so that's get, you have to guess what that means. The epitome of voluptuous. Voluptuous. So and <laughs> they were just so funny, both of them. They were what you missed, Justin. Yeah, they were running around giggling, and I actually told her at the end of the, at the end of the night, I said I should I could have paid the two of them to just to walk just, around to be they so made entertaining. Everybody laugh. They, they made do. everybody laugh. You know what? Those two girls, they do that regardless of costume or not. That's just that's who they are. So identical. Yeah, I that mean, little twin spirit is yeah. is pretty funny. Yeah. They, they play off each other. I would perfectly. say then the next uh, the next best thing for me was the the gaming. So I want to give a plug out. He did a great job. Yes. David uh, owns that gaming company. What's it called? Uh, King. Uh, I just totally drew a blank. King's Casino. No. Oh gosh. Game oh, Kings. Thank you. What is it da- called? David from the Game King. He's. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, he's up it, in Castaic, I believe. Is that correct? If any, I have no idea. I think so. I believe so. If that anybody's was great. listening, what are they called? Uh, the, uh, Game Kings. Game King. What there was it? craps, there was roulette, and there was uh No, but Jack the Black. dealers were Jack Black. You felt Jack like Black you were... He wasn't come. there. Blackjack was, though. <laughs> Sorry, you felt was I interrupting? Like they were legit. Like you were in Vegas. They were that good, that professional. And yeah. the tables and courteous. were and the tables were jammed. Yeah. All but night. I do have to say so you won two things. That, that was it. Were, no, I got a ten things. Food was I enjoyed the the tacos. I think one of the things I enjoyed the most is that you actually stayed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That that was surprising. Because your mo is I get show up. I'm not out. in a costume. I'm right. I'll give you quick. thirty minutes. I'll have a beer. Right. Maybe a cigar, and then I'm out I of here. I had so much fun. But I'm what not a is Hall- it about about Halloween or dressing up that you can't do? 
You know, I don't know. I, I need, that's why if you're a shrink out there, it's like Julie, uh, my oldest daughter, your sister, showed up in a clown face. She hated clowns. I know, you were saying that last week. Well, she texted me and she said, we're, we're coming as clowns, face makeup and all. And I text her back. I said, honey, you hate clowns. She goes, I know, but don't tell Brian. It must have been something in my childhood that I can't figure out. I don't know. I, I really don't know what it is. Did you ever dress up for Halloween as a kid and go trick-or-treating? Not, I never dressed up because we didn't have money for costumes, but I went trick-or-treating a couple of times. Well, so this is a... Hey, wait, that goes back to the day. If a kid shows up at your door not dressed up on Halloween, no. do you still give them the candy or no. do you tell them no? We didn't no have, trick, no m- treat? Well, remember, I was in these poorest neighborhoods. I mean, I, my memories are... You were are, in the valley. It wasn't that horrible back then. No, that was then. in Norwalk when I was like that not age. Not so good. Not so good, Yeah. <laughs> Not, I'm not knocking Norwalk. If you're listening and you're in Norwalk, I'm, I love Just your community. Just back in your day. Yeah. Just back in your wasn't, day. Norwalk wasn't very pretty back then. Well, but do you know, I mean, all of the things that we associate with Halloween, does any? I mean, nobody really knows what they all mean. And, and Are yeah, you going to we'll tell about, us? No, Are you going to tell now. us? Apparently not. No, oh. gosh, oh. the two of you can just can't stay stay where we're going here. Oh, no, where are we yeah. going? Let's go down the sheet here. No, you're not oh. going down the sheet. We're not going down the sheet. <laughs> no, we were just I was talking about planning a planning a large party and like oh. the stress that goes into it, the oh. cleanup, you know, my voice is still not the same from trying to Well, how many months did you start ahead of time? About four months. Okay. And when did you actually start, like, buying things and uh, but, decorating? But the backyard was like a movie set. Come on, girl. You, I mean, you had the fog. Uh, uh, one of your friends is in the movie busy, brings the fog. Fog, yes. So that was all awesome. night long, Justin, you got, yeah, you got this fog, like, yeah. you know, you're in a cemetery. And overlooking the pool is Morton. Yeah, and Giant. then you got this seven-foot... What what he is Morton? He has a name, Morton. Yeah, yeah. It's Morton. I don't. He's like a ghoul. I call him a ghoul. Yeah, well, I'm going to show you he's during the break the thing, the, the scariest thing of the night. Huh. I wish. Well, we are on video I, anyway. Never mind. I'll show you. The scariest the thing of the night was my husband and his costume. Pretty much. Pretty that much. thing on your front door. Oh my God! That I knew it was there, and it's still. Scared the. We you heard know. people screaming. Yeah, we could from the from, backyard. From the, yeah, that was pretty. A large funny. tarantula like this. Oh, say like, that again. Tarantula? <laughs> I don't know. What, what was it? Hey, we didn't tell Justin what you were going to do to Justin today. I have some oh, yeah. Pretty fake it's a tarantula. Not we a, have some don't real tell tarantulas. him because I'm going to surprise him when he least, uh, is, at least, least too late. expects Yeah, it. no, I, I let too that late. out. So uh, can I put you in business as a party planner? You would be the best. You could, but you, I need people with some really big budgets. <laughs> well, no, we talked about it. She thinks big. Just, yeah, no, just it's, work it's with wealthy people. Production time, yeah. production time. Yeah, yeah no. So what what have you learned though about giving a large party? Uh, that you yourself actually don't get to really enjoy it. Oh, that well, that's a given. I, I did you actually expect? Yeah, I did. I said this time I'm 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 going to go sit at the tables. I'm going to grab dinner. Um, you didn't do any of that. I didn't. And you I didn't kinda, drink. No, not really. I had a well, couple glasses can't. of wine. You so really, where, yeah, you can't. Where's the, uh, that's a great question your mom just asked. Where Where's the value? Where's the pleasure? It's in it, it's in me, looking back. Well, for me, it is the setup and watching everybody else enjoy it. I love Halloween. I think Halloween's awesome. So I don't, I decorate the house for Christmas, but I don't do these huge productions. This is, I love throwing a good party. And this one's yes, fun. Yes, you do. And I like coming to that party. <laughs> this, this one, this one for me is fun. No, this is now, next year, you're going to really select who's going to come. This, this is I did be a great a, job. Well, selecting. she did a wonderful job. No, she this did. Year. But I'm saying if they don't show up next year, they'd never get invited back. In fact, I wouldn't invite back the people that didn't show up. Oh, there were some well, like some good friends. Well, some is family. Yeah, <laughs> some, some was family and some were good friends. Oh. But, you know, no drama at the party None. at all None. until I created it myself at the end. Ooh, what oh, happened? and she kept saying that. What happened? I'm inviting people where there's going to be no drama because there have been previous parties where is there's been a lot of drama. Is that person listening to the show now? Because if you talk about it, that relationship's over. You think so? You think, don't think I can be honest and have a conversation? No. Okay, well, I'm not going to name names. Um, no, no drama at the party. Last couple, couple people left there, and I got into one of got into it with one of my good girlfriends. And I probably said some things that weren't, probably that a hostess does not say at their own party. Um, but your mom and I were talking about, you know, uh, guys, if guys get into it, we're done. 
I mean, if, if, if that was a guy, well, be, we'd be done. Well, because my he, feelings got hurt. And when my feelings get hurt. Watch out. And when I've been pushed and put, I, I felt. No, I'm but not why that, do ladies, why do you even have that? Why don't you cut that relationship off? I don't understand. Oh, oh Justin oh, has an oh, answer. Oh, here, here we co- go. Here, here we comes go. your therapist. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm just, you're bearing the lead here. I want to know what happened now. I'm, <laughs> I'm on pins and needles here. Okay. Well, okay. Here we go. And I'm I'm gonna keep saying though. I this is how I felt. I'm not saying well, this was accurate. Well, that's all that matters is how you felt. One of my closest friends showed up, never came and found me and said hello. I watched her around the party for about 25, 30 minutes. I thought that was so rude. I, I it, this good friend. Um, I come to her. She turned her back to me. I didn't know why. I didn't know if I'd done something. And it's like, well, if I had, please let me know. A couple minutes later, I went back to this my same friend, tried to talk to her again. Uh, she ran to go do something fleeting with a, a... She had to go do this. And then come back up to her again. She's talking to another one of my girlfriends, turned her back to me. Now, I don't know if she knew she was doing this to me all night. I don't think so. She was intoxicated. Yes. Well, most people had had some drinks, but... I've, uh, five times I counted that I was trying to talk to this person and I felt in my own home so disrespected by the end of the night uh, she was the last person there my it was a volcanic eruption yeah my bad it, don't you always go to the host and hostess and 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 introduce and say yourself. hello I'm here thanks for having anything me. I can do for you yeah well I don't even you don't even have to say, is there anything I can do for you? But, hey, you yeah, know, one of where's your best Coach friends? and Ellen? Where's Co- like, if it's your party, where's Coach and Ellen? Yeah. So, but I do, I will say on my bad, bad timing. Well, you know, once, when you are that wound about something, one little spark that gets out, you're not going to be able to hold it back. It's, well, and the, it's the volcano. This, I think the straw that broke the camel's back was it was literally the end. We were waiting for a taxi for one set of uh, friends of ours, and I was still trying to talk to her. And I asked her a question five times, and she kept talking to the person next to her instead. And it wasn't like I was yelling from across. I was sitting right well, there. Well, there were only three people sitting there, honey. Three or four and people. But like I said, I think she's jealous of a lot of things, and I don't think she knows how to express herself. That's what. Oh, I. I, get. I I'm not mentioning names. Your wife's I your don't mother's mean, kicking me wife, under the table here. I, I do not think I don't Justin, I don't Ellen's agree. Ellen's kicking me under the table. I don't think she's jealous at all. She's Ellen. an amazing person. She does amazing things. She does do amazing things, but the the pity of it all is that my feelings were hurt. Yeah. Well, and the other thing was that you can't go to someone and you, your best friend, one of your best friends, and just say, you know, Feelings well, were if really I handled, hurt. We need to talk. If I handled it correctly, that is what I would should have done. Yeah, so, but I boiled. I, I. And how do you, you expect me, to have a? I, I think you called me molten lava at that yeah, point. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but after the break, can but we talk about? Because ex- uh, the same thing would happen to a guy. I want to ask Justin when we come back from the break. I think guys treat that kind of situation entirely different. I'm curious what his take is on it. They, they probably, they probably do. And I think other women would have handled it differently than how I did. But I am who I am. and eh. I am who I am. Uh-huh. That's all that I am. <laughs> I can be a party in a box. I can also be a jack in the box and scare you. I mean. KHTS, the show is called. He said, she said, we'll be right back. 